of gravel to deliver this morning before the beans are ready. For those of you who are new to the channel, my dad and I also run a small trucking business. We have two trucks. Well, we had two trucks till we wrecked the one. But anyways, we normally run two trucks. We haul mostly gravel, so dump trailer work, dirt, fertilizer, sand, stuff like that. We haul a little bit of grain for hire, but uh, that's our side business. And I got a couple of little jobs to do this morning. And then we're gonna go cut some beans. I've also been getting a lot of questions in the comments about where I'm from. So also, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, we are a family farm located in Iroquois County, Illinois, and we grow corn and soybeans. sun's out let's go farming but first I have to unhook this truck from that trailer and hook it up to the hopper bottom Let's go farm. Hi Sadie. Do you want to go farm too? You do? You do want to go farm? get the combine and the head moved over to the next farm. Dad's got to go take the dog to the vet after a while, so we're just going to park the truck there. There's only 24 acres. I'll just cut and fill the truck, and then when he gets back, we'll go from there.
just about ready to get started here but first I really need to clean my windows they're terrible much better that is a job I really don't like to do got started here everything's going good it really helps that the sun's out we didn't think it was worth bringing the auger cart all the way over here for 22 acres or whatever it is out here this is our farthest west farm we try to just bring a minimal amount of equipment over here whenever we do this because it's a little bit out of the way but we'll keep running here time for traffic decent sized rock that I had to pick the head up and go over. I'm just going to throw it in the fence row so I don't have to worry about it later. Some of you probably wouldn't worry about a rock this size, but we don't have too many rocks, so we'd like to get rid of them. Ever seen a hedge apple? It's like a softball. They say if you put these around your house, it'll keep the mice away. But I tried it one year and it did not work. kind of our outlier field. I talked about it in one of my spring videos, but this is some pretty heavy clay. It's, uh, it's a really tough piece of ground to farm. We're used to sandier soil. You can pretty much do whatever you want with it and grow about the same crop every year. But this, we found that no-till works the best for this farm because every time you touch it with tillage, the uh, ground just balls up and turns into chunks the size of softballs, and that makes for a terrible seed bed. So, this farm has been no-till for five years. We've seen an improvement just based on that. You're getting a more consistent seed bed. You're starting to build some soil structure, and that just seems to be working for us. Um, this year, the beans weren't very good, but that's not saying much because, just like I've said before, most of our crops were put in, in pretty bad conditions. This one, definitely bad conditions. This clay, it stayed wet pretty long. Well, would you look at that? Last pass. I guess we better figure out where we're going next. That actually went pretty smooth. Makes a difference when the sun is out.
Somebody should fix that. Back in the truck. This guy said you like Jake brakes. Well, we just went and checked on our beans. They're not quite ripe yet, so we're gonna switch to corn. Alright, we got everything switched over on the outside, now for the inside. You set the uh, sieves, cleaning fan, rotor speed, and concave clearance from inside the cab. Handy dandy slide rule chart. So, we'll go through this. Feeder house conveyor chain speed is in slow. Feed accelerator speed is in low. Threshing speed range, let's see, 300 to 400 wet. I'll have to set that when I'm running. Cleaning fan, 1250 to 1400. Concave clearance, 25 to 35. Let's try 28. See what that gets us. Chaffer clearance, 15 to 18. Let's try 17 over 13. Peter off drum height up. All right, that's everything.
last time we were in this field we just got things opened up it was running 22 to 24 percent moisture that was i don't know a couple weeks ago now um monitor saying 18.9 right now hopefully that's fairly accurate we haven't decided if we're going to put this in the bins and dry it ourselves or take it to town yet we'll probably just get a load off tonight um it's already getting kind of late and then decide tonight what we want to do Dad's taking a sample to town. Well, sample tested 18.3, so we're probably going to be doing corn for a while. Um, there's about 60 acres that we got planted early. By early, I mean May 16th. That was the first planted corn. So yeah, the next video will probably be a corn harvesting video. I think I'm just going to wrap things up here. I think we're just going to take a load or two to town and uh, decide what we want to do. If we want to put it in the bins, take it to town, whatever. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at West Farms. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, stay tuned because in the next video, we might have that new piece of equipment. We're supposed to go pick it up tomorrow if it's ready.